I haven't been in Moss Blanket like a whole lot. So yeah, just trying to get my bearings a little bit. But there's like this like danger area over here where there were like a bunch of these like really like angry gorg, uh, angry Largos. So yeah, just trying to uh, kind of get back there. Speaking of angry Largos, <laughs> speaking of which, <laughs> I might be able to kind of cheese it by just like going over top of them instead and finding this, which I'm probably not going to be able to even carry the stuff. wild honey and royal jelly. I, I want both of these, but I can only carry one right now. Wait. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll come back for the... Uh, guys, we gotta remember where this is. It's like on the, the top here. I hope it doesn't despawn. Maybe I should have waited to, to open that up. Hmm... I'm not planning on being here for, like, super long, so hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I think it's through here? I think so? This area is beautiful. It absolutely is. One of the most beautiful areas in this game, for sure. Alright, I think we're on the right track. You might be able to go the other way as well, but I think this is the way that I went originally. I believe so. Alright, so we are going towards the Hunter Gordo. I see a bunch of uh, Hunter Largos. I'll get one of those regular Hunters one of these days, eventually. Oh, oh, jeez, please don't take a bite out of me. I'm not tasty. Is it this way? It's this way. Oh, oh, big one right here. Big one right here. Excuse me. Hard. Oh! Just big boys, big boys. Oh, oh. Okay, all right. Hello, biggest boy of all. <laughs> these are for you. And these are also for you. Please enjoy them. There we go. Oh, 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 I need these, I need these, I need these. Oh, 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 oh. I wanted the go. Oh, did we get them all? Did we get them? How many did I get? Six? Oh, I got some hunter slimes. I forgot that they completely like break and give you the slime like that they're made of. I was over here like we're gonna like have to be like looking for some, some hunter slimes. They're right here. Oh, oh. Um. Oh my gosh, it dropped so many. Wow. Um, oh, 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 they're taking bites out of me. They're taking bites. I don't want to die. There might have been some that like ate some stuff there, but we got nine of them, guys. That's like really good. Uh, oh, I'm really happy with that. Okay, all right. I'm gonna uh, leave out of here and I'm gonna throw out this random carrot. Oh, we gotta be careful so I can get back home in one piece. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose these guys. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Don't fall in water. Got 100% health for now. Let it stay that way. There's a uh, purple treasure pot out that way. So maybe it's like three different tiers? Because I think I've seen three different colors of them at this point. Alright, so... Um, oh, Fluffle, thank you so much for those biddies. I really appreciate you, friend. Thank you, thank you. You guys are the sweetest. Mm. Uh, late letters, demands, water bills, uh, only uh, attempt pickup. Uh, should be getting more uh, work started next month and really kicks off in, oh, in October. So can't get rid of me yet. I would never, I would never ace. We, we love you, friend. We'll take you for as long as we can have you. <laughs> uh, I 
I'm trying to think how... Oh, there's just tar here, and I'm like dilly-dallying. I don't... Oh! I don't have a whole lot of water on me, so like this isn't good. Okay, all right. Y'all good? I think that may have actually been enough. I need to get up there again. So let's go through here. And hopefully that wild honey will still be there. Because I, I haven't made an apiary yet. A uh, little, little bit of love for Wade. That is precious. <laughs> I'm never going to not call them Biddles now. Biddles are the best. We love Biddles around here. I'm just like not like restoring my, my stamina. Maybe it would help if I went through here. Are we getting more Biddle love? Well, I GTG now have fun all. Umbra, thanks so much for coming here and hanging out with us. I really appreciate you, friend. And thanks for dropping that bit of love. Much appreciated. Guys, please make sure to say goodbye to our friend Umbra. We'll see you later. I'm trying to think what time it even is for you right now, Umbra. Might be time for sleeps. Yeah. All right, here we go. Wild honey, wild honey, sweet. I'm like thinking that we might need to make another silo or at least upgrade the size on our current one. Cause yeah, we've got like all of these, I was gonna say all of these mystery things now. Actually, I can probably just put them in the, um, in that resource collector thing because I don't think I really need them for anything else. Cool, cool, glad we established that. I just realized too, like while we were over there, like we could have gone through this one that would have been a lot closer, but oh well. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> We're on the way here now. It's fine. We'll make it. I think. Hopefully. Thingy's crossed. I got the good stuff on me. I don't want to lose it. I need to read up on the hunter slimes too. Like, especially since like I don't know when I'm going to be able to find some other ones. I want to make sure that I don't lose these ones, you know? Oh, uh, is it blue? No, it's green that we're opening up right now. I couldn't remember. Renee, nice to see you, friend. How are you? I'm, I'm hanging in there, Renee. Thanks for asking. It was a bit of a, a rough day earlier. Um, just was having a, a, a bad brain day and then, like, started up stream and, like, having a lot of, like, frame droppage and internet issues, but we're, we're making the most of it. We're, uh, we're having some good chill times with some Slime Rancher, and it's been so much love today. And that's that's really bright in my day, too. I hope that you've been having a good one. Alright, almost back home. Almost back home. Don't lose the stuff. Don't lose the stuff. Okay. We made it. Nice. Okay. Um, the first place that I want to go, I think, is to drop off the royal jelly and the wild honey. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I was thinking about the royal jelly. I'm sure that comes from the apiary as well. <clears throat> uh, the stream is so glitchy for you. You can't uh, seem to change the quality settings uh, for it. Really? That's surprising, Renee. Um, what are the quality options it's giving you? Uh, Wade was dropping frames like it was hot earlier. <laughs> and it's very, very hot today. I definitely feel you there, friend. Yeah, we've still lost uh, some frames since I restarted, but it, it, it's not as consistent as it was. So, like, that's good. Uh, 1080p for you? That's good, Andrew. Um, I don't know what you're watching on right now, Renee, but, like, it might, um, help to restart, maybe? I know that's, like, a very, like, generic, basic answer. Um, so I don't know if it's going to help at all, but that's the only thing that I can think of. Alright. 
sweet. So, um, let's read up on our, our hunter slime friends. Yeah, it was this spot here. Diet meat, favorite rustro. The hunter slime is a wild cousin of the tabby slime, a much more capable creature than the playful ta tabbies. The hunter slime excels at stalking the chickens of the far, far range. A hunter slime's slimological makeup <laughs> allows for a natural cloaking ability that renders it almost completely invisible. Their only tell is their giant almond eyes, which can often be seen hovering in the dark. This effect is often described as unsuspecting ranchers as ah. <laughs> Um, the fact that, like, you know, it, it mentions, like, being able to see them in the dark, it kind of makes me want to put them in the cavern. A hunter slime has been, has keen senses and can detect its prey from great distances. This makes finding a good location for their corrals challenging. So basically, don't put it near chickens. <laughs> Additionally, the wild nature of the hunter is also passed on to any Largos formed from its ports. A newly created hunter Largo will always be... Really? Will always be feral? A prepared rancher knows that breeding hunter Largos should always be done slowly, with a few chickens on hand to calm them down. Oh, that's definitely good to know. Okay, alright. Hmm... Uh, really? It's only giving you the 1080p option. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, friends. Like, uh, that's super weird because, you know, like, um, with, with our partnership, it's supposed to give you, like, all of the options. The only thing that I can think is, like, with, you know, the glitches that I was having in stream earlier, like, maybe it, like, took away the other options for some reason, like, which it shouldn't, but... Uh, Adriana says, isn't 1080p good? It, 1080p is, is good. It's, um, like the top quality that you can output to Twitch. Um, but sometimes, uh, people's devices or internet can't handle watching in 1080p. So that's why I, I always tell people, uh, who are affiliates on Twitch, um, just stream in 720. Um, because like some devices, like some, uh, fire sticks and on, and the Twitch app on those, like doesn't even work with 1080. Um, and like as an affiliate, like you're not guaranteed options. We are supposed to be guaranteed, but I don't know why that's not happening today. So I'm really sorry for anybody who's, uh, who's not seeing those quality options and, and struggling to watch the stream. Thank you for letting me know about that. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, reload the stream. Sounds good, Renee. Yeah. Thank you again for letting me know either way. All right, so uh, we have our hunter slimes, so I really would like to put them in a place. But I don't know. I don't know. We can maybe put them here. Like I don't have any hunt, like any slimes here for the time being. So like maybe we could. The problem, like. Uh... I just don't have, like, a lot of, like, chickens to feed them right now. Um, I just kind of feel, like, nervous about putting out, like, any, uh, any, any critters <laughs> at the moment. Just the worry that they're going to escape. I feel like, you know, we're getting more and more of the later game slimes, which are kind of hard to, or, like, harder to keep and maintain. They're not as chill. But let's go ahead and like put down a corral at least. We'll put on high walls. Um, maybe a music box to put on the internet. Lork collector, that would be nice. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll do that for now. Okay, so let's put you guys in here. All right. And let me go grab some chickens because I know we had a, a bunch of stony hens. It's a bit better after reloading. Thanks for letting me know, Renee. Yeah, I've just been having a bunch of internet issues today. So um, what you were noticing could very well be something on my side. Very glad you're streaming tonight, Wade. Grateful for you spending time with us, Renee. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you for those kind words, friend. That really means a lot. It really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. 
Let me put back my elder chickens and roosters. They will live here forever. I love them. This one to get nine stony hens, because that's like the amount of the the dudes that we have. <laughs> These noises. <laughs> All right, so, uh, wait, I went the wrong way. No, not this way. Technically, I could have gone from that way. I should have just stuck with it. Oh, well. But we'll go this way. Back to our precious little hunter friends. I'm just, I really need to get to a point where, like, I'm starting to think, like, what I want to combine these with. Hi, guys, are you hungry? I've got some delicious knives for you. I hope that you enjoy them. So hopefully they'll be chill for a little bit. All right. I was also maybe thinking of going ahead and getting some of these other upgrades, maybe like the heart module. I feel like I've been like sitting on those for a while. Like maybe I should just go ahead and get them. Power core will go ahead and do that too. Pulse wave. Adds a pulse wave emitter feature to your backpack that pushes away slimes whenever you need some personal space. Just go ahead and get both of these. Let's do it. Let's do it. They're pretty cheap. All right. It has been decided. So from here, we are finally going to go and look for some treasure, my friends. Because I could not find that uh, that last one in the ranch for the life of me. So there are 14 uh, in Dry Reef that we can get currently. I know where one of them, some of them are. I know that there's like one like over on that like island if I remember right. But I definitely need to check out that. I wonder if there was one up there. It doesn't look like it. Oh, but there is one right here. Hello. <laughs> Sponge shrub? Chunks of these shrubs are great for scrubbing up in the bath. Wait, where did it where did it go? It said I acquired it, but like I didn't pick it up. I'm a bit confused on that. Is that one that something that like doesn't go in your inventory? There's not an automatic collector uh, for gardens, but you can program. Oh, I do need to get the drone too. Thank you for the heads up there. All right. The sponge. Oh, it was a blueprint. Oh, I thought it was a resource. I was completely uh, confused on that. Now I want to see information on this. Slime science, uh, what would this be? I guess it doesn't show like specific things. It just shows like types of things. All right, well, we'll have to look for that next time we go to uh, the, whatchamacallit, to the lab. Oh, did it say blueprint acquired? I completely didn't see that. Don't mind me. Obviously not paying attention to the important stuff. But <laughs> I was just looking to see, like, it's interesting how there's like ground down there. So it almost makes me think there might be something, but I also don't know if we'd be able to get back up. So I, I don't know about feel a little nervous about that whole thing. Are we still... Yeah, we're, we're still in Dry Reef. Okay. Well, let's just... Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Mm, don't worry, we don't read titles either. I, I but, but stream titles are the best part. <laughs> How could you not? I never like understood this area before. I know we've been here and it just like seems like a dead end and I, I don't really understand why. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll go back up. Like surely there's gotta be like some kind of treasure pot in this area, right? Oh, maybe down here. Maybe not. Okay. All right. Glad we established that. <laughs> I was so sure. Just 
kind of like jumping around to see if we can find any treasure pods. I don't think there would be like one up here, do you? I'm still honestly very curious about down there. Wait, is this where I came out earlier? From the other side? No, I think that's over there. It looks like a cave. I'm, I'm going down. Wait, this is the same place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it didn't seem like it came out there. Because it's like kind of like farther away. That's, that's hilarious that it like wraps back to there. So interesting. Okay. All right. Well, um, hmm. Was there anything in this little like grove type thing over here? Not seeing anything here. It's just kind of like mind blowing to me that there is like 14 here or like 13 left that we we haven't gotten to. So I, I feel like I've, I'm missing something in those couple areas that we just went to. But I guess we'll see over time. Uh, I do want to say that there might be one like where we saw that like Gordo before. Felt the sneeze coming on. It's one of those things, like, when you catch it, it's like you still, like, feel kind of like the peppery feeling in your nose and it's painful. And it's just like, just let me sneeze. Just let me do it. <laughs> uh, any treasure pods in these premises? I was so sure that I found one around here. Did I completely imagine that? I must have. Wow. Owen, what in the world, you silly? 25 gifted subs? That's a whole lot of love, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of those gifted subs. That's so appreciated. As I mentioned before, I just appreciate you guys being here and coming into streams. That really means the world to me. Especially on days like today where we're having so many tech difficulties. Oh, man. Tilda sent via thronegifts.com. What? <laughs> what is going on with all the love right now? That said, it was from Anonymous. Was that supposed to be Anonymous on the uh, on the throne gifts? What is going on? Who who was it? Who was the throne? Oh, and thanks so much for those 25 gifted subs. And thanks to whoever just sent me some throne. Was it the shelves? The shelves that I wanted to put up here in my office? Oh, man. I've got that now and the Squishmallow that Rochelle sent to me that I'm waiting on. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I really appreciate you. Too much. Too much. Oh, oh and it was you. And you should be getting a package from Target. <laughs> Oh, and way too much, my friend. Way too much. Thank you, thank you for always being so genuine, so kind, and so thoughtful. I really appreciate you, friend. And guys, thanks for dropping all that hype and chat for our crazy friend over there, Oven. So appreciated, so appreciated. It's what you deserve. I know you, know you. Thank you guys for all the love. Oh, I don't have any water right now. I don't have a way to get rid of. Oh, go, 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 go. How do you do like the like the the reverse suck that I got access to? Also, I didn't realize that I got a second key. Was that from the Gordo? The Hunter Gordo that we found? 
I was so like taken with, oh, can I get from water from this? Yes. Um, I was so taken with the like the little Gordos or the little hunters that we found. I didn't even like, yeah, notice we got a second key. Oh man. All right, get out of here, Tar. Go, shoo. Any more? Who wants a piece of this? Can we get him? Can we get him, though? Mm, I got you, though. Sorry. I have to, had to have it to go with the desk. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, like, I saw them, and I thought they were beautiful. I was thinking of, like, putting them, like, up above my desk. Oh, thank you so much, Owen. You're so generous, friend. So generous. And anybody who got one of those gifted subs from Owen, I hope that you enjoy your, your brand new emotes. You got a lot of them. You got a lot of them. <laughs> we all appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs> all the love for our way. No, you guys. Oh, gonna make me cry again. Uh... Sorry, I think I made a mistake with the treasure pods. On Switch, the number increases with each treasure pod upgrade, but um, just checked and it doesn't do that on PC. Oh, the 14 treasure pods in the dry reef include green, blue, and purple. Sorry for the m misunderstanding. I feel bad. Don't feel bad at all. Thank you for letting me know, Adriana. I really appreciate you. All right, so we'll keep that in mind. It, it might be some that I can't access right now, but the problem is, like, right now, I'm even having the problem of, like, I can't even find anymore, <laughs> regardless of color. <laughs> so yeah, just just on the lookout. Oh, is this one of those? Oh, is that one of like the lucky ones? Oh, guys, hang on. I can't remember. What do we do with like the lucky ones? Diet meat. I need chickens. Oh, do you think he's gonna stay? Probably not. Oh! How many chickens do I need? Oh, I got like one chicken. Uh... There might be some more chickens up there. Just one? Oh, it disappeared, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that's a big sad. There are some chickens over here too that I could have grabbed. I'll get that lucky one one of these days. One of these days. I think that was only the second time that I've seen it, to be fair. Ooh, treasure pod, sweet. I was like, I think I remember one in here. Violet slime, violet slime lamp, not violent. A decorative lamp housing a happy slime. I think the other one that we have is like a pink slime lamp or something like that. All right, so we've gotten two of the 14 here. I still have not uh, found any others, but maybe uh, they'll be in kind of this direction. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Oh, oh. All right, um, maybe like also like across the bridge. Let's go back this way, kind of near where we found that lucky one. I want to check out this area first. Oh, lots of tar, lots of tar. Yeah, there is a treasure pod here. Awesome. And I think there was one where that teleport was too. A sponge tree, a, a squishy sponge tree that can store a lot of water during dry months. Interesting, very interesting. There's just so many tar here. I just, yeah, I feel a little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> Wasn't there one? Yeah, it is. Okay, all right. Now we're starting to find some treasure pods. Coral grass patch. Pink grass makes a lovely place to take a nap. So maybe these are just like more of like decorative things then? Maybe? Mail from Casey. Casey, this isn't really a good time. <laughs> If we can get back over, was it up here? Yeah, it's up here. We'll go across this way. Oh. Those uh, slime lamps give you sea monkey vibes. Oh man, I remember having sea monkeys as a kid. Never kept them alive though. Oh, 
we've got some more of the... Oh, wait, this is something different. Spiral steam. If you search for it, you'll find something wonderful. Well, I wasn't even searching for it, and I already feel like we found something wonderful. This is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> New ornaments, right? Love that. Love that for us. <laughs> Where do you think we're going to put these ones? Somewhere on the house, perhaps? If we had a Christmas tree, maybe? Speaking of ornaments, there's a, there's a random one sitting right here. <laughs> So we've now gotten five of 14. It's really crazy to me that there's like so many that we uh, haven't gotten. Still uh, seven? No, more. Uh, nine. Math is hard. <laughs> I do remember that there is like a blue one, one that we can't open over there. But even still, there's a bunch we haven't haven't gotten. Uh I'm noticing there's like some cube fruit over there. Do you think there'd be like a treasure pod too? Uh not here, it doesn't look like. Hmm. Maybe on like that one or that one over there. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's uh go in this direction, and then we'll decide where we want to go from here. Hi. I'm glad that these guys are. Still chilling with their chickens. They seem like pretty happy, although I don't have any more chickens in there right now. So yeah. Hey, Mr. Finn. You wanna lay down, buddy? You wanna lay down? Mr. Finnegan's here saying hello. All right. We'll uh, throw these in here. I'm wondering if Finnegan needs to go outside, honestly. He didn't when I was on break, of course, but now he might need to. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, Um. so. For the teleporter, we need five more deep brine <clears throat> uh, and two more hexacomb. Let's look at the information on those. I think it would be resources. All right, deep brine. So this is... Deep brine is a common resource exclusive to the dry reef obtained with a pump. Okay. So first I need a pump. All right. Um, and then the other thing was the hexacomb. Is an uncommon resource obtained with an apiary. Okay. Um, do I need to put the apiary anywhere in particular? A result of these uh, arranging buzz, buzz wax into hexagonal shape um no i skipped that uh into complete pa complex patterns if i can read i'm so sorry to store their honey and eggs why the hexagonal shape bees understand that the hexagon is the shape of the future <laughs> bees were sci-fi before it was cool i just love these developers so much the the just all of, like the reading in this game is so great so great Hi, Honest. Welcome in. How are you? I hope that you're having a really nice Tuesday, friend. And Merlin, welcome in too. How's it going, guys? So good to have you in here. Mm. Ooh, Fluffle, do you like Rubik's Cubes? Just got a personal record. One minute and 49 seconds? Oh, jeez. I don't see how people do that. That would take me, like, at least one hour, 49 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, wanted to share. No apologies necessary. Thank you for sharing with us. Uh, I think, you know, any kind of like uh, talents like that are, are super amazing. So I really appreciate you sharing. I, I wish that I was that talented. So yeah, it doesn't really say about the apiary. Um, do I even have an, the ability to like make an apiary? Pump apiary. Just like very like weird looking apiary. Very futuristic, I suppose. All right, so I need this. And I need this. Okay, 
All right, so let's uh see what is needed to make those. Um, I've already got the drill in place. Hopefully, I was about to say hopefully that'll give me what I needed. I actually already got the that uh, strange diamond, strange rock, whatever it is. So I think we're good on that. But for the pump, we need some quartz. Okay, I think I actually already have all of those slimes, so that'll be easy enough. Uh, and then for the apiary, we have all of those uh, slimes too. Okay, this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, so let's um, start with the phosphor, I suppose. We'll go drop these cube berries to them at the cave. We'll take these two, sure. All right, sweet. Eventually, I think I want to put those cube berries like in here. And like get rid of one of my corrals, I think. But you know, that'll be after we like kind of start mixing for Largos. And I haven't fully decided on them yet. I still need to put like an auto feeder in here too, but these guys are luckily pretty chill. Oh wow, we've already got like 78 in here. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take 50. Thank you. Speaking of outside, went to get lunch. It was so hot. Uh, 109 and the wind feels hotter. Oh, I guess bless your heart. I'm glad that you're inside working at the very least. What, uh, what did you have for lunch today? Was Crystal one of them that we needed? Was cr <laughs> I don't think so. A uh, pink, tabby, boom, phosphor, honey. That was it. Looks like, just give me a second. I can, I can think about this. I can do this. We got like three uh, still hanging out on here too. You know what? I should have grabbed those. Uh, you know, we'll just give them the heartbeats for now. I was going to say I should have grabbed those uh, carrots in the cave to give to our pink slimes. Uh, this is fine. The rock slimes will just have to do without for a little bit. And I, I really need to uh, try to appease these guys. I, are they meat? I think they're meat. Yeah, they are meat. Favorite is Briar Hen. All right, okay. Um, I don't really have too many Briar Hens right now. So I'm just gonna give you what I what I have. I hope that'll that'll do. Um, we'll take you to what else? Um, another Stonehenge shore. I do have some rare hens that I could get rid of, but oh, I didn't realize I still got like one heartbeat in here too. Let's throw that out and rare hen. Um, Briar Hen. How many roosters do I have now? One, two, three, four? Okay. All right. So let's throw in you guys. I know it's not a whole lot, but it's something. It's honest work. What you doing, son? Come lay down. Come lay down, son. Mom just let you out. Um, your golden gets watery eyes from the pollen, so usually wipe her face with a wet washcloth uh, when you get home from a walk through the grass. That makes sense. Uh, for puppers with hay fever like symptoms, do the same thing as for humans, vacuuming and clean air. Yeah, he's always seemed like he's had like allergies. Um, like when he goes out outside, like I said, he'll get like nasally and like sometimes like he'll even seem like he has like itchy skin too. Um, and I think I did ask the vet about the itchy skin last time that I was there. We were there for like another issue at the time because um, he had like an upset stomach. Luckily that went away on its own. Um, but like she had talked about maybe putting him on a medication for the, the itchy skin. And like I, I definitely try to go like more natural route 
uh, as possible if I can. So we did get him like some oatmeal uh, shampoo. I don't know how much it's helping. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's been itching as much, so I think maybe some. Um, and then as for like the allergies, sometimes like I'll diffuse like oils into the air if they get too bad for him. I think it might help a little bit. Sometimes I like to take a nap in the moss blanket, but those darn boom slimes always wake me up. Ooh, I have never seen that before. I think that might be the food liked by the, the mosaic slime, maybe. But yeah, I've never seen it out in the wild myself. Oh, I know y'all are angry. Just calm down a little bit, please. Oh, just long enough for me to, to get my plorts. I'll just gather them from over here. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so we have boom. We have phosphor. Um, we have paint. We have paint. Okay. All right. We're good. And also honey and tabby. Honey and tabby. I think for the tabby, oh, ooh, I'm going to have to give them chickens too. But luckily we have some chickens out here, so it works out well. Are you guys escaping again? I see like rogue plorts on the ground and I don't know if that was from before or if it's from now. I feel a little nervous about that. As opposed to me getting the honey ones right now, I think I'm just going to take these chickens and give them to the tabbies. Since we need some, uh, some plorts from them too. Got a chicken there any more chickens before we found like so many freaking chickens around here so like i feel like there should be more I'm kind of surprised that we're not seeing them i never know the difference in the real ones and the fake ones all right uh chicken we'll take you two oh, oh, oh. just saw one or two or three? Oh, there's a bunch over there. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Ends the more apparently. Jeez. Yeah, they just like spawn so frequently around here. So yeah, if I were going to have a meat eating uh, slime, I feel like this would be the place to put them. Or maybe, maybe not looking at it the other way. Maybe they would just like go crazy and try to get out of their pens if I did have them here. Mm. Uh, itchy, itchy allergy like symptoms are really common for dogs. Don't know how it is over there. Uh, here there are vaccinations specifically curated for dogs with allergies. Oh, maybe. I don't know if my vet uh, really like mentioned that, but there definitely could be. Definitely could be. They're like so happy. They're like, we haven't eaten in days, weeks even. Thank you. <laughs> buk, 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 ah. <laughs> What's the name of that achievement? <laughs> oh man, feed a hundred chicken slime. Chickens, two slimes on the ranch. Oh, that was great. 25 out of 57, 43% of achievement so far. We're getting there, we're getting there, friends. All right, so I'm going to take these uh, plorts to our resource doomhickey maker thing. I think I'm just gonna throw them all in there. Oh, I should have put some more chickens in there too. My hunters might like get kind of angy. Luckily they can't teleport, I don't think. Did someone say achievement? Maybe. Maybe Ace. Do you have all the achievements in this game now? I can't remember. I don't really know if I need to put all the phosphor ones in here, but oh well. So, um, <clears throat> oh, uh, Tabby and Honey. That's what I need still. So let's go grab those. We should have the plorts for those already in the machines. Especially with the tabby ones, since we just put some chickies in there. 
but I might go ahead and load some more mint mangoes into our uh, honey slime collector as well. <clears throat> Just to make sure that they're nice and fed, those precious beans. Alrighty, tabby plorts are good. And then we'll go over here. You do have 100% on PlayStation. That's super satisfying, Ace. Thought it was really cool that they can make those injections so uh, specific that they only need a little bit of the specific thing. Uh, don't get anything else. Right, right. Yeah, I'm like very careful about like um, not only like what I like give myself, like food, medication wise, anything like that, but like definitely like for Finn as well. Um, I try to give him like all natural stuff and, and that kind of thing. I'm definitely. I definitely lean more toward that uh, if I can, if I can avoid, like, you know, um, you know, the more synthetic stuff. I think you guys are hungry, bless your little hearts. I'll get you some more mint mangoes, because it does seem like you're out of them. Alright, one, two, three, there we go. And then let's go get those mint mangoes. I do have a few over here, not too many, but it's something, it's something. Probably don't really need all of these honey slimes because we do have like quite a lot of them. So yeah, I might end up getting rid of some. I feel like they're pretty like easy to maintain though. They're like pretty nice and chill. So that's good. That's good. Do we have any more lemons? Not quite yet. I was looking to see if we had any more that I could like put in here. Yeah, unfortunately not. There's like no more in there at the moment, so that makes me like pretty nervous too. Maybe I can put that on like medium speed. Oh, come on, lemons. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, you know what? One way that we can make them hurry up. Maximum harvest. Sprinkler. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. I haven't ever purchased an upgrade for the gardens, and I feel like those are probably some good ones to have. Hey Dave, welcome in buddy, how are you? I hope that you're staying cool as much as possible, and uh, I hope you had a nice day today. Also Ace, thanks for dropping that exclamation Dave in chat too, much appreciated. Davy Wavy, Acey Wacy, Lady Lady. These do have some nice rings to them for sure. I approve. <laughs> all right, so we are now gonna throw all of these in here. I know I didn't need that many honey plorts for sure, but maybe it'll help with something else that we we can build. Oh, Dave, is it not too warm there for you? Uh, just warm yesterday, mostly the south of England. That's uh, hot as heck now. I get you, man. I hope that uh, it'll stay that way this week for you, too. All right, so novice pump. Cool. And novice apiary. Perfect. So uh, with these, we need to place the pump in the dry reef. Okay. Um, and then the apiary. I don't think I've really set a location on the apiary. I don't think so. Does anyone know otherwise? If it should be, like, on the ranch? Should it be, like, at the dry reef? Hmm... Because it's the hecatacomb that we need. An unknown resource obtained with an apiary. But it doesn't say, like, a specific place. So, like, I'm assuming that, like, we could even probably, like, put it here, right? Maybe? Maybe. Hey, Dan, welcome in. How's it going? Jungle, you think? Honestly, that would make sense for Moss Blanket. Because I found some of the, like, the royal jelly and stuff in, um, a, a treasure pot in Moss Blanket. So, yeah, maybe we'll just go ahead and put it there to be safe. That might be a good idea. Do we have any direct teleports over to Moss Jungle, guys? I know I've got this one here. 
But I'm trying to think of like where there's a teleport over here. It's been so long. Yeah, Varese, it's been 109 today. Um, here, when I stepped outside, I don't think it's as hot as it has been like some days. It's still very warm, but like definitely not not uh, as bad as some places right now. Yeah, right now it's like 84, which is like kind of like uh, cool compared to what it has been. <laughs> 109, right? <laughs> I feel like surely we've come across like a a teleport here, but I just can't think of where it would be. I wish like the the regular teleports back and forth would stay on the map. Like obviously we have these ones that go directly back to home, but uh, I wish the the two way ones would show up on the map too. It's kind of weird that they don't. Uh, what's the symbol for, uh, for the moss blanket? Alright, it's this one with, like, the jungle, like, mossy trees. That makes sense. Alright, so let me, like, look around my, my, my ranch, maybe, and see if I can come across a teleport like that. If I do have one like that, I feel like it would probably be closer to, like, the grassy area, right? I feel like that would make sense. Um, I'm also gonna go out here a, a bit. And I'm going to place the pump. Location, the ranch. Technically, it's saying we're still in the ranch. Okay, now it's saying we're in dry reef. Cool, glad we established that. Um... So, where can we place this exactly? Um, so I guess like as soon as you cross over that, we're good. I'm assuming. Well, now it's saying that we're in the ranch. Well, I definitely don't want that to be the case. Um, this says dry reef, so I'm gonna put this here. The pump. Okay, cool. There is no teleport to Mossy Jungle, okay. We have one that's a, a bit outside of it. I'm wondering if it's the, the one that I'm thinking of. So I, I do know where that is, if that's the case. I was thinking that there was a two-way uh, teleport in there. But I guess there are fewer two-way teleports in this game than, than I was originally thinking. So good to know. Good to know. Thank you, friend. Alright, so we're gonna go through here. I guess it, uh... It really is needed that you make some of your own teleports in this game. But this one that we're about to make is definitely going to be going... <sighs> I was debating if I wanted to put it, like, right here, or... I might end up putting it, like, right here, maybe? Like, kind of halfway through this. Especially, like, since, like, if we need to get back home here, they're like, there is that one, I suppose. That's what my thinking in it is, at least. All right. Uh, so, let's go across this way. Excuse me. Don't bite me, please. That's not very nice. Jungle uh, has a one-way portal back to the ranch. Yeah, for some reason in my head, I was thinking that all places except for, like, um, the ancient ruins and glass desert had two-way portals, but I guess not. I guess there's a lot of places that don't have them. Very interesting. So, uh, I guess now that we're in moss, uh, mossy blanket, am I calling that right? Yeah, moss blanket. We can really put this uh, wherever, so maybe we'll do somewhere in here. I don't know if it even needs to be here, but just to be safe, just to be on the safe side. All right, cool. And the nice thing is that they do show up on the map, so you don't forget where you put them. So feels good, man. All right, so I guess we'll just let those do their thing. Um, 
Hmm, and what do we want to do in the meantime? Um, let me look in the Slimepedia. I wonder what other slimes we don't have on our farm right now. We've got Pink, Rock, Tabby, Phosphor, Rad, Boom, Honey, Puddle, Crystal, Hunter, Quantum. So wow, I uh, I was thinking that we were behind on some of them. Really, the, the ones that we don't have are from uh, the, the desert. Okay, all right, cool. So um, I think maybe we'll go back home or Here's another idea. As opposed to us going back home, maybe we could actually look for some of the treasure pods here. Because I haven't really looked for them in Moss Blanket for sure uh, yet. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And then this has about 1130 left on it. So we need to come back here at like 18. If I did my math right there. So yeah, let's, uh, let's look around a bit. See what we can find. And we're looking for, I think it's the green treasure pods, right? Since this is like, you know, a bit of a later area compared to like Dry Reef. I wonder if we'll find a whole lot of uh, treasure pods around here. Or if it'll only be like the, the blue and the purple ones and that kind of thing that we can't open yet. But we'll see, we'll see. So far with like those, um like upgrades for like the backpack and stuff you know it, it does seem like you know further upgrades come along which obviously it will with the different type of treasure pods and my guess thus far is that like maybe if i if i find a certain amount of the the blue ones or whatever or the green ones i think it's the green ones i always get them mixed up my my thought is that if we find a certain amount of our current ones then maybe um We'll, we'll get access to that upgrade. What is this area considered? Is this part of Ancient Ruins? Yeah, this is part of Ancient Ruins. Okay. How many are in here? None. Okay. All right. Cool. Glad we established that one too. <laughs> mm, is it Kel Panda? Did I say your name right? Welcome in. Uh, French so please be gentle for my bad English. No worries at all, Kel. I am American and uh, and yet my English is... Uh, is a struggle sometimes, so yeah, please be, please be gentle in my English as well. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're having a nice day. Hmm, so far really not seeing any. I definitely feel like I could very easily be missing some. Guys, thanks for welcoming in our new friend Cal, much appreciated. I hear some tar. It's not a good sound. That ain't pretty. Uh, just wondering how long you're gonna be streaming for today, Wade? Probably not like the the longest. Um, and I, I feel bad about that. Um, but just like so much of our time uh, today was taken up by the the wonderful um, internet issues. So I'd say maybe for like another um, 30 minutes to an hour is kind of what I'm thinking. We'll just see how things are going with what we're doing and how my brain's feeling and all that good stuff. I'm a shock that I'm not seeing any here. Granted, this is like a pretty like big and vast area, but let's go this way. Also, Valentine, thank you for the hydration, my friend. Much appreciated. That's not right. There are no pods in the ruins. Wait, so why... Why did it not say a number? Maybe it was just in that first, like, initial section. Where there's the, uh, the gate. Maybe that's why it wasn't showing a number. And if there are uh, pods there, I, I definitely do want to go and, and check the ancient ruins for those. But yeah, I was just more like thinking of uh, that initial area since we were kind of like right there. I was like, eh, we'll, we'll just check this. I feel like I've gone a way that I shouldn't have gone. But at the same time, you know, like it, it lets you. 
It's like what looks like stairs here. So why would it let you go over there if there is nothing there? Like that really makes me think that I missed something. Vinny is really sneezing, bless his heart. Entrance must be a separate area. Isn't that interesting? Especially since it like calls it the same area. But yeah, I'm sure like once we go deeper into it, it'll actually like show, uh, I'm sure it'll actually show the numbers, you know? Uh, There's like that driftwood over there on that rock. Like I don't see a treasure pot on there. So I'm assuming there's not one. That looks like really far out too. So I don't know if we could even like reach it, but I am very curious. <laughs> bless him. Thank you for giving uh, Finn the, the bless yous. Son, you okay? Finny. I'm assuming he is. He might be laying down now, which is good, which is very good. Um, maybe like on top of like a mushroom? Oh, 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 getting stuck, getting stuck under the mushroom. Okay, all right. Just didn't want to fall in the water. Let me give it a second to recharge. I'm glad that we have the 150 energy now. That definitely helps a little bit. Oh, so it won't even like take me higher than that. Okay, all right, maybe it doesn't help. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait a minute, hey, uh, hi Hunter Slime. So lucky we saw you. Wow, so with that Hunter Slime, we'll have 10 of them. I feel like that's a really good number. Honestly, the nine was bothering me a little bit. Well, there must've been another over there too, but that's okay. Again, I feel like 10 is, 10 is good. Mm, what is down here? These are just so well hidden. Like, honestly, like before we had, this is a blue one, yeah, I can't open that yet. Uh, before we had like gotten access to like open any of these, like, I was like, oh, we're finding these left and right. And now that I'm like actually looking for them, I can't find any. Oh, 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 <laughs> didn't mean to fall. <laughs> so yeah, the fact that that one was a, a blue one, it really does kind of make me worried that we're not gonna be able to find too many green ones since that's all I can open right now. You can see that one green one that I opened over there not seeing any more, sadly. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should look back over there or... Oh, 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 oh. Hello. I'm glad that we looked back over here. <laughs> A wildflower patch. So I'm assuming that all these like blueprints for like the trees and the wildflower patches and stuff that we're getting, it seems to be like um, decoration stuff that you could put like around your ranch or something like that, I'm assuming. Which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. I'm all, all for decoration as long as it's not heckin' ornaments. <laughs> So this is where we were before. Mm. Any more that I can spot with my little eye? If it looked like up on that ledge, I'm honestly surprised we made that. Um, yeah, I think this is where I got the water from earlier. Oh, but I'm glad that we came back. Sweet. So we did find one over here. Mossy tree. Oh, that would be beautiful. I'd be very much interested in having that somewhere. 
once I start to like actually get into the decorations. It's stuff like that, those new blueprints where I could very much see where, you know, it's kind of like keeping up the grind of, uh, keeping up the grind of, uh, you know, the money. It's like so much to spend on. Power core Mach 2. Okay, all right. We'll have to get that soon as well. Anything up here by chance? Oh, a purple one. Okay, all right. Definitely cannot do that right now. Good to know, good to know. Thankfully, we don't take fall damage in this game. Uh, I want to say that there was a blue one over that way. We still got a bit, little bit of time on uh, on our machine over there. So let's go kind of farther back into here, I think, and see if we can find any more. I can't remember if I did that hydrate request, but thank you, Merlin. Much appreciated. All right, so... Yeah, let's go this way. Gotta just watch out for these scary boys. Um, yeah, we got that thing up there. I guess I should probably go down here to make sure I'm not missing anything. Even Nick's sneezing now. Oh, treasure pod, hello. I hear both of you sneezing out there. I said I hear both of you sneezing out there. Fin Finnegan, no, no, you don't need to apologize. Finnegan was uh, sneezing a lot. Uh huh. Thank you. So we got uh, one of those amber lamps. Those might be kind of cool. Did you guys have lava lamps when you were younger? I had so many of them. I even had like one that was kind of like a nightlight and it like plugged into the wall. I really like that one. I think this is kind of going into that like that danger area. And I feel like if there are treasure pods out there, it's probably like the higher tier ones. But we could still look. I know I've been into the water here before. I don't think there's any underwater treasure pods, but we'll just look. We'll just look in case. Um, ooh, ooh, hello. I'm not seeing any, any treasure pods. Oh, 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 oh. Take that back. There's a blue one. Unfortunately, I cannot do a blue one. But I'll try to remember that one being there. Emphasis on try. No promises. Hmm. Did I need any more pond slimes or did we get all of those? I'll take one in case. Hmm. All right, so this is our teleport back home. Okay. Ah, uh, lava lamps. Did I just give you some uh, some nostalgia there? Some some good, uh, I'm hoping, memories? Hi, son. Did you like your dinner? You're a precious boy. Then again, has come back to join us. Um... I, like, feel like there might be one up on, like, one of these cliffs, but... Not really seeing like a good spot to get up there. Maybe like here? Uh... Yeah, that still looks a bit high. Uh, um, let's go back this way. And it, it definitely is time for us to get um, whatever was left for us in the apiary. I'm hoping it'll give us the, the beeswax that we need. Buzzwax? Beeswax? One of those. I'm getting a little turned around now, though. Okay, we need to go that way? This way. Yeah. And 
And then we can also go back home and check the, the pump that's there too. I think whatever the pump was supposed to get, I think that was like more of a, a common resource. So like, I'm hoping that we'll be okay on that. Hoping so. Oh, it's, uh, it's the yarn. I think I've seen this before. That's so funny. <laughs> All right. Um, like still going right way? Yeah, we are. <clears throat> Starting to lose voice a little bit. Sorry, friends. Okay. Press to activate. What you got for me? Oh, no. This isn't what I need. Oh, wait. Where is it? We got fuzz wax, but I don't... I needed... I need hexacomb, not buzzwax. Okay, all right. So, I mean, it is uncommon, I, I suppose. I'm wondering, do you think we should try to put it back here? Another apiary? Or should we put it somewhere else. I'm kind of curious just to check for the hexacomb. So I don't want to have to like keep making apiaries if like I'm putting it in the wrong spot. So let me just make sure. Hexacomb. Hexacomb, hexacomb, hexacomb. Um... Hang on, let me message Nick really quick. Finn wants to go out again. Hexacomb is an uncommon slime science resource obtained with an apiary from and from slime science crates. Yeah, I think we have found like some in that in that first crate we opened. So the pri uh, it is primarily used in warp tech and decorations. Hmm. Um. I don't see a place where it tells you, like, it can get more from somewhere. Um, yeah, it says location exclusive. No. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you can you can get it from anywhere then. All right. So, we'll just uh, have to go back home then. And we'll, um, we'll make another. And we'll probably just, you know, put it closer to home. Just wondering which way I wanted to go, like, back home. I think they're about the same distance, honestly. So, yeah, we'll do that. There is a blue one down there. That one's easy enough to remember. Okie dokies. So, let's go back this way. Across the bridge. And then we'll go through the two-way teleporter there. <clears throat> 